Now to a special health report on the struggle of infertility in this country. According to the CDC, more than six and a half million women are having difficult problems getting pregnant. Many of those women turn to modern day science and more and more couples wanting to get pregnant are trying an age old treatment for help. That treatment is acupuncture and as Tammy Tremblay explains, even some doctors are choosing it. So how are you feeling? Great. Good. Yeah. Any low back pain? Yes. You are. Yeah. Well, what I'd like to do is I'm going to do some points. A few needles piercing Anna Miller's skin. And this one at the top of your head's really good. She's having an acupuncture treatment to get her body ready for the final phase of pregnancy. I was very scared of needles, so I didn't know what to expect. She found Kristen Burris here at Eagle Acupuncture. I'll do points to help with sleep and low back pain. We have really gentle needle technique. After struggling with infertility. Yeah, I had gone the Western medicine route, so I had been going to a doctor for almost two years trying to um, conceive, and it just wasn't happening. She did some digging and discovered acupuncture may help two months after starting treatments. It sounds kind of crazy that acupuncture can help. Anna got pregnant. It's such a great option. I wish more people knew about it. Kristen has been a licensed acupuncturist and herbologist for 15 years. It's amazing. It's amazing. Her husband, Tony, also treats infertility, focusing on men. And I tell people to be prepared for about three months of that. And within that time period, we almost always get good results. The acupuncture points tend to be different with men and women, but Tony says the focus is the same. We're trying to potentiate the reproductive function of the body. What they look for first when coming up with a treatment plan is patterns. To break it down in a very simple way, if a woman's coming to me who's having a hard time having a baby and she's frozen all the time, her hands are cold, she's cold under her blankets, she has like painful um, cycles, um, she prefers like hot teas and soups, she definitely has cold in her uterus. Then we choose points that move blood, engender heat, and choose herbs that are warm, warming to her reproductive organs. Kristen says it may sound magical, but it's not. It's just a memorization of two medical systems and bringing them together, and we're able to do that. Kristen and Tony studied three years of Western medicine in graduate school and one year of Chinese medicine. So we're able to look at labs from a Western perspective and say, wow, okay, your progesterone levels are low. You know, let's have those tested on day 21. We'd like it to be at this number. We can help guide the patient realistically what we've seen, what potentially we could treat. I want to show you. Okay. Kelly Sajinsky is an OBGYN and a mother of three. You know, there's definitely some things we do in Western medicine that are um, more or less standard protocol, mm -hmm. testing and trials of um, different medication. But she and her husband, Greg Yerksa, chose acupuncture starting about seven years ago to help with their infertility struggles. We were told we may not be able to get pregnant unless we use in vitro. Knew enough that I didn't really want to go through in vitro, so I was looking for something alternative. That's when she found Kristen. We do take the most challenging cases. Both Kelly and Greg were treated with acupuncture. A couple in each hand, uh, some in the chest, the belly button was a big one, and nowhere else. Um, so it was you know, not what you might think without being educated about it. Three months later, Kelly was pregnant with Boone, their oldest, who is now six. They used acupuncture again. It was really a sanctioned nap. To help conceive Abe and then Kala. But if you really need research proving it works. We're not God. We can't see the future. Unfortunately, you're out of luck. But finding that exact language to say, how did that happen? Nobody's discovered that yet. But then you can look at someone like Kristen, and there's a boatload of kids. Tammy Tremblay. You don't have anything to lose. Good job. Thank nice to you. see you, honey. Idaho's News Channel 7. Well, the only time Eagle acupuncture will not help with infertility issues is if you do not have reproductive organs. Of course, there are never any guarantees, but the practice has a 71 to 92 percent success rate within the first year of treatment. Doesn't look like it hurts either. Mm -hmm. And in the past 15 years that this has been open, nearly 500 babies have been conceived with their help. You can learn more. Just go to our website, click on KTVB.com in this story.